Is that a no of you wetting my beauty blender? I said yes, but you have to wait. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right, we need powder, powder. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be getting ready really quickly today. This is gonna be more of like a vlog style, so I will be keeping you guys up on the day. It is currently Saturday, February 23rd. It is Brandon and my first wedding anniversary. We've got a whole big day planned. We're going to see Frozen in the city. We got dinner reservations. We're gonna stay in the hotel down there. Basically, we've got a whole lot going on, plus some stuff he doesn't know about yet. So feel free to come along with us on our day. If that's something you're into, make sure to keep on watching. Please don't forget to subscribe because I do upload three times a week. That is the best way to stay up to date on all the fun stuff I'm posting. And if you want to see our entire day, keep on watching. So I am not doing like a full beat face today. It's really going to be a little bit more on the natural daytime glam. So I'm going to be focusing really just on complexion, making sure that everything just looks airbrushed and effortless. I did a little bit of spot concealing and a little bit of brightening and that's pretty much it for complexion besides like powders. I say that now and then I'm probably going to dip into a foundation. You know me. So I'm going to take a tiny little bit of foundation just where I feel like I need a little bit of coverage where I don't think the powder is going to be enough. So I'm actually really impressed right now. And if you guys have been watching my channel for any, like literally back to day one, you will know that on the rare occasion that I actually get ready in whatever I'm wearing, I end up absolutely covered head to toe with whatever setting powder I plan on using. There's the brush. And today, nothing. This is an accomplishment. I picked this up about, I want to say two weeks ago, and it has quickly become my favorite brush to use for my MAC paint pot. It's the Morphe M173. I was going through all of my brushes and, like I have a lot, I know that. I definitely don't need more brushes. However, I was looking at basically like, in my brush routine, looking at my favorites, so when I go through and I think about what my favorite brushes are, I cannot think of replacing any of them for the most part. And I always do that. And like, this powder brush is my favorite and this is what I'm gonna use and I'm gonna love it forever. And then something else comes along and that's my new favorite. A brush for my eyeshadow primer was the only thing that no matter what I found or whatever I was using, I didn't love it. Like it, it worked, don't get me wrong. But from a day in and day out basis, like, it was nothing overly special. I didn't feel like it saved product or deposited anything in a way that was really very different from anything. However, this brush, since I started using it, I really noticed that it just diffuses on the perfect amount of product. It doesn't soak up an enormous amount of it, and it just really stipples it out nicely. It is a concealer brush, so it makes sense that it would be great for eyeshadow primer. But, you know, sometimes it doesn't work like that and sometimes things surprise you. There's still no powder on my shirt. Like, are you guys seeing this? Are we all enjoying this? So Brandon and I have been together for what feels like a thousand years. When we first started dating, like we were probably together like three months at the time. Someone asked how long we were together and we both looked at each other and we were like 75 years. So every anniversary from when we started dating, it would be like, this is year 60, this is year 90. So the fact that this is our first year wedding anniversary, it's kind of huge. But we have been together since May of 2013. I'm going to link up here a video that, it's actually the highlight video from our wedding. So it's basically everything we were doing exactly a year ago today. It was just such a fun day. He's so awkward. Like, I don't think you guys understand exactly how awkward he is. And not this is not like a judgy way. Like, I think he will even accept and admit 
that he is probably one of the most awkward people you will ever meet. Like, he makes people uncomfortable so frequently. So good at it. So good. Um, I'm gonna use this for basically everything else today. But I was just talking about the wedding. I linked the highlight video. What do you love most about the wedding? Like, what are your biggest memories? The shoes. The shoes. The shoes. When people ask me about the wedding, it's the first thing I say. It's like, I didn't care about anything until I got my shoes and then everything was details. I was less significant than the shoes. You were a fixture at the wedding. The shoes were the important piece. Dude, that's not very nice. I'm gonna put up pictures of both sets of shoes. Let me know which one you like more, left or right, and like comment it first. I will pin a comment that says which one was mine and which one was his. And I want you guys to know without knowing whose was whose, because... Just remember that both of them were mine. Oh, shut up. That's not true. You picked my first option. I okay, my so second option. we got to the Louboutin store, and we went in the city, and he, we had both looked online, and we had both basically picked out the shades, that, or the style that we had wanted. And when we got there, I fell in love with his pair. Because mine were pretty, and I'm always right. To be fair, though, the pair that I had originally planned on looking at that I was really into was literally like 10 times the price of all of the other ones, and none of that was listed online. I was like, oh, these are really pretty. I think I like them. And they're like, oh, here's the price. <laughs> Swarovski. I took that off of my foot so fast. I mean, kind of. You kind of walked around them and said, but I really like them. Yeah, but I wasn't dropping that on those shoes. <laughs> Paid enough for the uh, ones we did get that... I don't think I could warrant or, you know, yeah, that would not have been okay. So the shoes, that's really all you cared about? I mean, the food was really good. I wouldn't know. I ate a lot of food. He ate so much food. That's kind of Brandon. I'm also going to insert and show you guys my absolute favorite <laughs> picture. Can you pull out your phone? Do you have your phone on you? Can you call me? Not only is it my favorite picture from the wedding as a whole, but when Brandon calls me, it's the picture that comes up. It is literally him staring at the camera, eating. That, that's Brandon. If you wanted to know a little bit more about Brandon, in a nutshell... Brandon eats. Brandon likes food. Brandon is always eating. Always. I'm not eating now. You're absolutely right. Though I am hungry. <laughs> I'm surprised you put foundation on. I put a pump on. Put a little bit just down here. Yes, but... Uh, I don't appreciate you being so You've been so here on my channel at all in the past times. You're really not nice. I'm very nice. I'm also using the same shadows or powders from this palette just to throw some definition on the eyes. I'm not doing like a full on eye look. We're literally going to just really be low key today. Like we are going out to dinner, but it's gonna be a soft boy glam. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly throw on a light brow, a little mascara and some lip gloss and I'll be right back. So the face is wrapped up. We are just about ready to head out. I will be filming some vlog footage throughout the day so that you can come along with us. The one thing I will say is I hate when Brandon and I are so close together because I'm gonna say it's the white balance. He's gonna say I'm pasty as hell, but I look so pale and in person, I do not look nearly as pale as I do on screen. So we're gonna go. I will try and keep you guys up to date all day long and I'll see you in a little bit. So the biggest first world problems ever is that my Starbucks drink is currently seasonal, so I can't get it, and I'm really unhappy. Wait, like, come on! All I want is cold blue whipped cream. That's it. So we just got back to the hotel from the show. It was actually really good. Um, we ended up having one of the understudies, but she was absolutely amazing okay. be nice Sorry about it. she was so good um we are going to get changed we're gonna head out to dinner and yeah i'm feeling it the hotel the hotel it's like we didn't want to do like marriott or hilton or anything like pretty generic so we picked this like really chic and artsy boutique hotel I'll link it down below, but everything's like really edgy and modern. It's really cool. Good morning. We are on day two. 
Last night was great. I will insert some stuff from dinner because I meant to record and we kind of got lost at the moment. It was kind of cute, not gonna lie, but uh, I'll insert some pictures of some stuff that we did for dinner. We ended up gallivanting a little bit, walking around, and then came back and crashed at the hotel. Now we are getting up. I impromptu bought tickets to Mean Girls on Broadway last night while we were sitting at dinner. So we're gonna be seeing Mean Girls a little bit later, but we're gonna do brunch first. And yeah, we're gonna get into that. Say hi, Brandon. Hi. So we're here, we're ready to go. The seats are really close. Um, real close. Real close. So we're gonna go enjoy the show and we'll talk to you guys soon.